All right, hey, what's going on there, guys? It is Earthmaster here, September 2nd, 2017, 7.31 p.m. Uh, quite a bit of earthquake activity occurring in the state of Idaho, in the southern part of the state, that is. Uh, largest earthquake at the moment has been a 5.3 with many, many other aftershocks uh, following that main shock there. Actually, they did have a 4.3 prior to that 5.3 going off, but I will show you that here in just a minute. Uh, location of these earthquakes is uh, rather interesting. It's close to Yellowstone, but it, within a distance. Um, I'll show you here over on this map here. Not 100% sure this has anything to do with uh, Yellowstone activity as far as the volcanic part goes, but uh, definitely um, it will be interesting to watch to see what happens. Uh, far as it, it affecting the earthquake swarm in Yellowstone. Uh, here's a map of the USGS one day magnitude or one day magnitude 2.5 and above. Um, you can see the general location there on the map. I'll zoom in a tad bit and show you guys just a little bit closer view. Uh, you got Yellow, Lake Yellowstone up here northeast of the activity in Idaho. Um, if you take a look at this legend right here, down here on the bottom, um, we're looking at about 20 miles uh, per, it looks like about an inch on my screen here. Um, so we're looking at probably over 100 miles away as uh, far as Yellowstone goes. You know, if you want to be specific in uh, where Yellowstone begins. Now remember, there's lots of magma chambers, there's uh, over over years and years, millions of years, uh, this hot spot known as Yellowstone has, you know, evolved over the land, so to speak, uh, with the North American plate moving um, over that spot. So, um, you know, there's a lot of older activity down in this region here that uh, had to do with Yellowstone in the past, very distant past. But uh, this right here, I believe, is caused by. The Intermountain West pressure uh, being applied from the West, um, and actually the professionals at USGS uh, who issued the uh, statement on the Yellowstone earthquake swarm mentioned uh, this activity uh, relating the swarm in Yellowstone is related to the uh, Intermountain uh, pressure. You know, kind of like the pressure is being applied within that area and it doesn't have anything to do with magma movement basically just small uh, earthquakes that are happening within that park and uh, you know nothing to do with uh, any type of magma so just pressure general pressure um, from the west there um, which is kind of worrisome but uh, let's go back here to the earthquakes I got a lot to cover on this and uh, you know here's that 4.3 okay 4.3 earthquake that occurred we're gonna use the town of Soda Springs Idaho uh, today at 2355 and 30 seconds and then roughly about a minute and a half later is when that 5.3 earthquake struck uh, general within the general location of the 4.3 uh, a little bit uh, in a little bit different location but uh, Generally speaking, the same location there. Followed up by a multitude of threes and fours, uh, and the latest one being a, well, a 3.5, but in a general, uh, a different location than the activity right now, uh, which is interesting, because I think uh, we're gonna see some more activity down here if the pressure transfer is correct. Uh, we'll, I'll, I'll take a look at that here shortly. But we're counting uh, within this map 16, 16 earthquakes. That's quite a bit of activity. But with a 5.3, um, I guess you're expected to see some aftershock activity. So definitely not surprising. Um, there's the town of Soda Springs. The 5.3 occurring right over here in this area. We can take a look at the satellite view and see exactly what might be over there. I haven't checked this yet, um, so I kind of want to see what's going on there. Like I say, I just got home a few minutes ago. 
Uh, you guys may have more information on this than I do, uh, but I'm just using my resources here uh, to take a look and see what's going on um, within the area. It's kind of sporadic and spread out as far as the earthquake activity goes, uh, as you can see it on the map here. Uh, 5.3 within this location right here. Um, you know, it just looks like a lot of forest land out there. I don't think, uh, let's see here. I don't see any geological features that would indicate any type of dome or volcanic activity, uh, past or present. Uh, so that's a good thing. Uh, but like I say, I believe it's just the pressure being applied from the West. Um, and it might have something to do with this. This right here is a tremor detection map. Uh, tremor meaning a slow slip event. Now I've covered this before in my past videos. And uh, as of right now, hold on a second here. Back over here. As of right now, today, uh, there's still no slow slip movement being detected uh, with this system. So. Uh, it's interesting because that means there's just more pressure being applied over in this part of the area. I think we're seeing an uptick in the earthquake activity at Yellowstone National Park. Uh, as far as the earthquake swarm goes, I was watching that earlier. Here's the earthquake swarm location. Uh, over the past couple days it looked like it had been quieting down a tad bit. Um, but picked up a few hours ago, actually earlier this afternoon, uh, right here with this little earthquake. And uh, basically picked up in the swarm there. These down here are signs, well, signatures of the large earthquakes that are occurring in the Idaho region, uh, which is just down here in the southwest corner, well off the screen, but uh, showing up very nicely across Yellowstone National Park. Uh, the 5.3 being this one right here, the red one. Looks like that 4.8 is right there. You can actually see the difference, or see the signature, I mean, the 4.8 little short break followed by the huge uh, on this map anyway 5.3 there in Idaho uh, lots of people felt it uh, within a certain area uh, we can check out the did you fill it reports uh, and see exactly how many people felt it uh, if you happen to be in the Idaho region in the specific area and you felt it uh, please leave a comment below and uh, let us know exactly what you felt, if it was a jolt or a rolling motion. Um, just let us know if you, if you, uh, what, you know, what you experience. I'm kind of inter interested in hearing that. Uh, of course, Soda Springs, 36 responses as of right now. Um, and other towns as well, including Grace, uh, Montepeller. Hopefully I pronounced that right. If I didn't, I apologize. A uh, little town, Afton, Wyoming, felt that as well. Uh, so lots of people felt it within that small area. Uh, definitely 5.3 is a, you know, it's a moderate sized quake, guys. It's, um, I don't think they've had too many of these in the state of Idaho. And once again, you got Yellowstone up here in the northwest corner of Wyoming. And the earthquake swarm, or the uh, 5.3 that is, in Idaho down here uh, towards the southwest. So it looks like possibly within the epicenter area some moderate shaking being reported uh the rest of the rest of the area feeling light shaking and a little bit of weak weak shaking there so nothing big but uh, definitely some activity going on out there i'm going to include uh once i'm done with this video here i'm probably going to go ahead and add a station in the southern idaho region that will pick up this live data uh with this earthquake with these earthquakes that are occurring here. Uh, this right here is live data, live earthquake data in various stations across the globe. Uh, Lake Yellowstone right here looks like, looks as though there was another earthquake over in Idaho because these look like a distant type signature there. Um, also being picked up on Mammoth Lake Station. so. Uh, if there was an earthquake in Idaho, that's probably going to be another 4 or a 4.5 possibly. With it being picked up like that in, in uh, 
Mammoth Lakes region in California. That's a pretty good distance there. But we'll have to see what the USGS puts out there because as of right now, the latest earthquake they're showing there uh, is definitely not uh, 3.5 like that. It's not going to show up in California. So definitely uh, something much larger than that. I'm guessing a 4.5. But like I say, I do not have any live data from the Idaho region. So I'm going to go ahead and pull one up here after this earthquake video. Um, also being picked up there in Oklahoma. Wichita Falls, Oklahoma region. But as far as the signature goes, there we go. Okay, well I'm still seeing only that 3.5 being the latest earthquake there. Um, let me check on this other map here real quick and see what's going on. Because a three, like I said, a 3.5 is not going to do that. Uh, definitely going to see a much larger quake than that showing uh, signatures, guys. So I'm going to get off here and get this video update onto the internet and find a, uh, a live data station there within that area. Hopefully within the Soda Springs area and um, include that there on the live data so we can get more accurate information uh, and earthquake data coming in from that area so we'll keep an eye on it um, like I say it's quite a bit of earthquake activity in, in that region right now and uh, I might do a little bit more research and see what kind of past historical earthquakes have occurred within that region um, here in a little bit but for now uh, I just wanted to do a quick update on this earthquake and uh, we are live streaming guys so come on over and say hi. Uh, we'll be covering this area in Idaho um, in a little bit more detail tonight. So swing on by and say hi. In the meantime, um, we're gonna go back to the live stream here and get everything set up here hopefully for the uh, Idaho station. And uh, we'll chat at you guys here in a little bit. Sit tight. <laughs> 